Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Sword Art Online Hollow Realization for the Nintendo Switch. Yay! Brought to you by Bandai Namco. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more SAO arrives every day on K Wings Let's Plays. Without further ado, Link starts! Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to SAO, and it's boss time! Also, uh, Kirito and Asuna worked on their relationship skills more and increased their mastery skill a little bit, although it's going to take a long time. It's probably something I should have done over the course of the game, but little by little, I've been teaming these two up and, uh, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. You want to know what I should have done, though? Even though we lost power that day, the Switch, yeah. like, would have worked on battery mode for four hours. I could have grinded... Asuna yeah. and uh, uh, Kirito's healing ability. I'm sorry, I completely forgot we lost power because we was... slept. Yeah, I was we, basically we slept for like 12 hours. <laughs> you know, I, I was, was basically oblivious. sleeping all day, and also when I wasn't sleeping, I have all these like, like I have all this like music downloaded on my phone from the YouTube thing. So, mm. which, yeah, but I some people had some pretty surprising things they wrote the other day. Like when I went back, and they were like, "You only had three uploads, and there was no streams on." A Sunday. Usually, you stream twice. It's we like, had to sleep. We had we had no power. What were we gonna do? And we had no power. Yeah. So also, the weather was wicked crazy. Luke and I have had headaches for like weeks, and we finally like, don't really have them as nope, much anymore. Because it's actually 30 degrees outside again. It was 65 degrees yesterday. Our sleep schedule been all messed up because uh, so many reasons. Adult bill stuff. And we'll sometimes say. Luke has to wait until. After he's uh, edited everything until like four in the morning or seven in the morning, then he has to wait from seven until noon to try to get a hold of different like government companies to try to pay past due government bills, which actually aren't really past due. We don't actually owe the money, but they say we do, so we have to pay this exorbitant amount, so it doesn't matter. So with the government, even if they're wrong, they win anyway. They always win. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today uh, I hope you guys have your snacks and popcorn handy because once we beat this boss, it's gonna be probably about a 40 minute episode of just speaking. So, yesterday was a short episode. Today will not be a short episode, I can guarantee it. Guarantee. Guarantee. That right. should be a thing. We'll make that a meme. But uh, Asuna and me have really been working together a lot better now. We're more synchronized in our switching abilities. Yep. Also, we can go back to holding hands and. Uh, who, who did you want to hold hands? Uh, with? Not, <laughs> not, not, not the nice gentleman over to our side. Although I'm sure he's a very sensitive, nice guy. I think his hands are smooth. I don't know. No, no, they're really rough. Uh, he's holding that axe all day. I mean, maybe he uses some okay, type of moisturizer. This is getting weird. I don't know. Agile is happily married at this point, so we need. I to, want to like... see his wife appear in the show, though. Like, she's only appeared. In the manga, I think. Oh, and I'm never, like, she I never full dies. I keep imagining what she looks like. I have a rough idea. I think. I am, well, okay, you're probably gonna spoil the idea. For no, her. no, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I imagine her like mm, probably not as tall as Agile, but like a little bit shorter than her. Uh, him. They run a business together. Yeah, I'm yeah. imagining her with like long, flowy, like black hair. Oh yeah, she definitely has long hair. That's oh, what I would see? say. Oh, yeah. see, that's. I mean, there we go. I think that she has a nice smile. I think she's probably curvy, and she has a good sense of style, and um, she likes to wear long, flowy dresses, and she also looks kind of like between very feminine, elegant, and very like cool Xena warrior princess. That's how I'm imagining what she looks like, so... I would go more the feminine <laughs> route, like, okay. than, than the warrior princess. Ooh, a chivalry coat. All right. Oh, yeah, and uh, I know some of you have been saying, too, hey, how come you guys haven't been upgrading your stats and stuff like that? It's like, I completely forgot that I could go into town and do that kind of stuff, but we're not uh -oh. going to get to that today. Uh, we'll go back to Liz's blacksmith shop, and since I've been playing this for a few days now again... Um, you know, I really yeah. I should have played this the other day when we didn't have power, but oh well. So I think I was worried that I might lose my progress, whatever I did, like if it, you know, ended up shutting off. Because yeah. I really don't remember how to save in this game. Still. Yeah, so, oh yeah, I don't know. I, I was just realizing that according, oh, yeah. 
According to my personality, like, apparently, like, the kind of personality they have according to my personality test from my school or whatever. You actually took one of those? I had to take it. In fact, I had I took it several times oh, because no. I was so angry at the results. I got the same results three times. <laughs> and so, like, oh. apparently I'm this really kind of rare personality that, number one, my mind goes all the time. Your mind goes? So you're, you're one of those people that you just, like, utterly forget things? No, 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 no. Like, it's always going. I'm always thinking about things. Oh, like, you need to running. phrase that better, because how you said it, like, my mind is gone. It's no, like, my mind vegetable. is going all the time, but also, apparently, according, to, in my, a cup. according to my personality, um, me working in a cubicle or working under a boss in a 9-to-5 job is basically... Working under a bus? <laughs> boss. Well, you said boss. Basically, so. me not working for myself, me working any kind of normal job, no matter how much money it made, is almost like worse than death for me. Whoa. Like, it would be... High potion? So basically, me working from home, so no matter how much I complain about this job working with you, Luke, mm. apparently this is my ideal job. Awesome. Working from home and always having something for my mind to do 24 hours. It's the best kind of job because it gives me freedom, I'm able to have creativity, and I also don't have to have somebody, like, breathing over my shoulder every two seconds. <laughs> Except for my cats. <laughs> no, I'm the one who breathes into the mic. The yeah, recording. you probably didn't catch that in the previous SAO episodes, but Amber was so invested in the story, she was like... <laughs> Like, I had to cut out a bunch of, like, uh, heavy breathing. It's kind of like, what's going oh, on? Oh, also, according to my personality type, I'm never supposed to get married, and I really don't communicate well with others, and I, um, don't... You sound like my high school counselor. I probably shouldn't ever find love, and I wouldn't make relationships well. Yep, that's what I was told <laughs> in high school. So I'm like, wait, but then how did I find Luke? <laughs> It's a glitch in the matrix, Amber. <laughs> you were supposed to be a depressed opera singer, and you know it. <laughs> and I was supposed to be working at a 7-Eleven. Yeah, apparently Probably. me working, like, even with a singing trope or something like that, troupe or whatever, would not work out for me because I would have a boss and I would have a schedule. It's better for me not to have a schedule. Um, mm. or a boss, which you're kind- you are my boss, but I can influence you. Partner. Like, yeah, I'm your partner. It's like a <laughs> Ebenezer in Scrooge and yes, uh, I don't remember his partner. Ebenezer and oh my gosh, does anyone know the a partner of Ebenezer Scrooge? What was the name of uh, so Jacob Marley? So this is we weird. Go. Like Got I actually it. didn't think about that personality test for so many like even a year and a half, and then I noticed a video on it talking about it. How like people like me with my personality test. Apparently, if I plan to do nothing all day, mm. and someone interrupts my plans and spontaneously wants me to go out and do something... It's all part of a plan. It bothers me. I cannot change my plan because I had planned to do nothing. Oh. That's how... I don't know what it is if you call it OCD, but apparently, according to my personality type, I cannot change... If I already planned on doing nothing, I cannot change it and do something. Mm. That's how... That's how, like, I don't know. I that guess That explains I'm, why Amber makes me write a schedule. Yes. Mm. That is why I'm... I don't know if and you if, call and it high-strung. If we, if we add, like... I say high-strung. If we add, like, a surprise game or something, yes. like, we were able to get done with all our quota... Then I get really Amber's bothered. like, no! We already worked this amount of time. It's over. Because I need my I'm, me time now. Because I'm, because I'm emotionally ready to relax after I've done... But I have all my things on ahead. my list. You're but, trying to get ahead. But I have everything on my list. Like, then you should, like, then you should put it in a spot, like, you should add one more game. Imaginary game. So this is a surprise game at the end. So just put a bunch of question marks. What if no, don't no, no, don't mark? do that, because then I'll know after that. If you put the question marks and they never happen, then I'll get used to it. You should always do one extra game. Oh, uh, another question I wanted to address. A lot of people have been asking, where in the world is James Bond Nightfire? It was supposed to debut, like, uh, the 12th of January. Well, you can blame Zelda and Amber for that. What happened was we had our Wii plugged Sorry. in, kind of. It got ginger ale everywhere. I don't know if the system has survived. And I haven't been very experimenty with electricity yet, so I'm letting the system and all the wires dry out. Well, I mean, I saw ginger ale get everywhere, but I thought everything was fine. No, 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 no. And it wasn't, it's partially Amber's fault, but it's mostly all it's, Zelda's it's fault. It's completely my fault. 
Because Zelda I likes to knock over things. I had an open can of things. ginger ale next to the Wii, and then Zelda knocked it over, and it went everywhere. Right, so because of the age of the system and also how cold it is, I'm concerned that if we try to plug the Wii in right now, one of us could get, without a surge protector, somebody could seriously get electrocuted, probably. And also, aside from that dangerous aspect, the system could get ruined, and I don't know where our other Wii is. So we only have one Wii right now, and the games that we're playing are GameCube-based, so... You know, we might have to put a little, uh, stop on the Bond stuff until when the Daniel Craig movie comes out, which might be a little bit better, and I'll feel more comfortable using the Wii then. Yeah. But we... if you guys want some Bond stuff, we do have 007 Legends, but I think with SAO being back, which... I was really big in watching the Underworld um, second part of season two, or first part of season two, I guess it would be. Yeah, it's the first part of season two. It really got me back into the SAO mood, and then I found out there was a new SAO game coming out that we did not look at on PS4. Like, if we would have done this game back in 2016, we probably would be rolling in anime um, revenue right now, because... Yeah. People are still watching our first episode of SAO Hollow Realization for Switch Part 1. Oh, wow. It's almost at 200,000 views already. Wow. So imagine if we would have done SAO right when it came out for the PS4. Probably oh, wow. in a lot better shape with the channel right now because you would have that anime crowd anticipating more SAO stuff or yeah. more anime games in general. So that's also part of the reason why we look at anime games right when we, they come out. Regardless of if it's on PS4 or um, Switch, we're not a we're not tied to just one system. Yeah. Like we will be getting the PS5 this year and probably looking at as many uh, new games as we can and partnering up with companies for PlayStation as well. Because well, we have to. Yeah. I mean, we we are a new releases channel basically. Um, we try to do the retro stuff, but it just it doesn't I mean, hit that, quite as well. That's part of why we get the new stuff is. You know, like, we want to show it to you guys so you guys can decide if you want to get it or not. That's the point. I'm like, yeah. But this May, we will be looking at the SAO Underworld game. So that'll be coming out uh, if, sometime in if May If we had PS4. time and energy, we would do reviews of new games coming out. But since we don't really, because we have to do so much stuff, we this is kind of like your review. Like, you're watching a preview of the game to see if you want to mm -hmm. get it or not. Mm -hmm. yep. But I just thought that was really interesting that apparently... Even though I protest so many things in life, apparently I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Like, this job is the perfect job for my personality, which I didn't even realize. Mm. There's not too many... Apparently most people with my personality type... That's French. ...never end up going to work and they get extremely depressed because they can't fit in anywhere. They become a neat. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> uh... Exactly. Also, I mean, it's really great to look at SAO right now because if we can get as many episodes of this done before Dragon Ball comes out, then we have two anime series going in tandem with one another. So then we can get the people that like Dragon Ball to maybe switch over to SAO. Because right now, you know, we're just yeah. getting the same amount of viewers watching stuff. So we need that anime crowd to really uh, look at our channel heavily. I might end up... Because the Disney Infinity si playlists aren't really doing much, I might just make an anime playlist and have, like, all the yeah. anime games that we've done, like, well, down below our channel. I mean, look, it's not making you any money. Why keep them there? I don't know. I, I mean, I've asked myself that so many Because, times. I mean, we're only getting about 50 cents, but I feel like if we remove it completely from that playlist area, then maybe that 50 cents will dry up. Because it all but adds why up. Why would you want to get 50 cents when you could get much more for other games? I mean... I don't, I, don't I don't know what will happen right, with the anime. I guess we'll stuff. discuss this later. I'm, I'm going to figure something out, though, because there's things that I can do with the channel to make it like look like, hey, because we probably have like 15 or 20 anime playlists, I think. I'd have to go over all of it. Now I'm like inspired to make a, um, a website or whatever. I think you should. So you want to know something? I mean, I probably shouldn't talk about it anymore. It doesn't matter. But apparently... I'm the type of person that once I conquer a skill, like, it's boring to me and I have to go do something else. 
So if I learn to cook, then I can't really do that anymore, and I have to learn something else. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I could, yeah. That could explain why I like to learn so many different things. Yeah. I mean, knowledge is power. Learning stuff is not a bad thing. Yeah, but Ooh. me, it's like I'm a... It's like I'm a learning succubus. Like, I have to learn. Otherwise, I can't survive. Wait, I'm weird. Whoa! Whoa! Episode the summon start. dragon. The summon dragon. Giant dragon has been summoned to guard the mystical something or other. What's its level? I'm just going to open this chest without any problems. Uh, don't mind me, dragon. All right. Let's go. Level 63? All right, that's going to take 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, we're not even denting this thing. I think we should run away. We can't run. This is very bad. Uh, if we beat this thing, it'd be a miracle. Oh my gosh, what is that? Asuna's like, her dating hearts made the dragon weak? That was weird. Okay. The power of love. That's the power of love in action right there. Wow. I didn't know she could do that. Yeah. So, before this episode, guys, before we came back, we did um, more of that off-screen dating with Asuna. And I'm getting a lot better with that. Uh, before, I wasn't too very uh, great with the um, dating bonus stuff, but I've got it down to a T now, more or less. Although Asuna does throw in some tricky questions sometimes, but... Yeah. She's, most full, she's mostly at, like, the blissful rating right now, which apparently gives her some pretty decent, like attacks or something? I don't know. Okay, that didn't work. Come on, Asuna, use your heart attack! Care Bear Stare! Didn't work. Now, in reality, people, we shouldn't be able to hurt this boss, because we're only, like, a level 30-something, but... Actually, no, we were a level 20-something, now we're level 30. Cool! Whatever's working is working! Never mind! This might not take 15, 20 minutes after all. Oh, okay, yeah. It's possible. I don't know what's going to happen once we beat this dragon, though, if we're going to have, like, so much dialogue. It doesn't feel like this is the end stage boss, though. I think this was a hidden boss. Because you, you know what happens when we get to an area where there's, an, there's all those people standing around, the girls chit-chatting about the upcoming raid, and then there's oh, yeah. nothing but dialogue. This is my thing. I mean, I don't know if I should get into this, but it's like, with Kirito, it's like... If, if I, like, he has these girls, like, call him up, like, hey, you want to go on a raid with me? Like, five of them or whatever. I'm sorry, but if I had three different guys call me on the phone, whether I was married or dating or not, and all were like, hey, you want to go to the movies with me? Like, it would be so weird and awkward to be like, why would I go to the movies with three guys? It's so weird. Like, I, no offense, but it's just like, I just feel like him hanging out with all these women is really weird to me. Well, how they explained it is, I mean... In SAO, all these women had near-death experiences, and he rescued them. I know. It's, wow. You know they did that on purpose. Be, I mean, the girls didn't put themselves in danger, but I'm saying the writer, who wasn't very good at romance until he really uh, was like, you know what, I'm going to put two characters together that people aren't expecting, Asuna and Kirito. And then he got really good at writing that romance, both in the light novels and later the manga, and then the anime expanded on that. You know. Yeah. This is why, like, this is, see, this is why back in the day, like, with Westerns and stuff, you'd have, if you rescued people, you'd have a mask. Then the woman wouldn't fall in love with you, and you wouldn't, they wouldn't be in love, every woman in the town wouldn't be in love with the hero. Bring back the mask. Because then you'd have a mask. That's the whole point. Like, otherwise, everyone in the world would be in love with Batman, and everyone would be in love with Superman, and everyone would be in love with every superhero. Like, you have to have a mask. Like, Kirito needs a mask, because that would solve his girl problem. Yeah, he should have done it. I mean, I guess he was relying on his average looks to kind of, like... Because Asuna, if you go back and you watch the first season, the very first arc, it really didn't look like she was in love with him until, like, much, much later in their, oh. you know... They did not like each other in the beginning. I thought she liked him at the very beginning. At the he, very beginning, yeah, but then it, it took her a while to understand that he was leading people off um, so that he could go and, you know, not put people in danger anymore because a bunch of people died during that first raid, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, I could understand, like, when you have a life and death, like, issues, like, of course, you know, like... Uh-oh. 
How are we supposed to hit it? If you have a life and death scenario, of course your emotions are going to be extremely high. You're going to be like judging everyone because it's stressful. Mm -hmm. Like I would be like blaming somebody. It's somebody's fault that everyone's dying. Get the dragon. So might as well be Kirito's. No, but I mean he's everywhere that people are dying. So. Well, we also know that Kirito. Um, he told Asuna that he closed off his heart when that one girl and that entire league he was with died on Christmas. Oh. That was always something that haunted him for so long because he was over level, and because he was over level. Oh wow! Okay, I wasn't expecting that. That happened pretty quickly. So what happens now? Summon Dragon was level 60. We should have like mad levels now, though. Like it, I'm we, just... we defeated something that's 30 levels above us. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, uh, getting back to that while we open this chest, um, because he was such a high level and he was hanging out with those scrubs, basically, he attracted the bigger monsters and that led to their deaths. Mm -hmm. And then when he told the, the, the guild leader what happened to his friends, rather than live his life, the guild leader killed himself in front of Kirito because all his friends were gone, you know? Yeah, I think, I think that... Never mind. I just think that some our society's kind of lost the ability to realize that like sometimes keeping yourself like without flirting, without hanging out with girls, without like kind of keeping yourself pure for that one person is actually a really good thing. Like I I feel like one thing that it like made me like you a lot more is when you told me about that one girl that kept hanging all over you wanting you to like you know, wanting to give you a back rub or wanting to do other things and you would always like kind of reject her and I thought that's so like that's one thing that I really liked about you because you were like, well I don't know her so what in the world? Like that's what I really liked about you is you just... Level up! You, you were... why would you just be out with any girl when you were like waiting for the girl that you lo you loved or you liked so... And, I'm just, I don't know, I like, that's one of my things about you. You're not like Kirito, you're not a player, and I like, it makes me mad that he's such a... I, I will still defend Kirito as not being, quote, your traditional player, mm -hmm. because he's not going out of his way to make a harem. If he, if he did, Asuna would leave him, because Asuna is not going to hang on to Kirito. I don't think so. I think Asuna is just, she's like, okay, fine, I can take all these other chicks, so I'm fine. Oh, she can. She, she she's could. like, okay, I guess I could beat them up if I needed to in a dark alley, so I guess I'll let them live for now. But I mean, <laughs> I don't know. you have to separate <laughs> the game from the anime Yeah, that's and the what manga. I was it's... telling you, like, it's like... In this game, he he willingly puts these people in his party, which really makes me upset. Yeah. But you told me in the anime it's not like that. The so. anime is not a dating sim. Uh, oh, great. Am I supposed to go to the door at this point? Okay, so let's see what this is here. Kirito got uh, some type of item uh, or something like that. Sorry, we had to pause the game because it we had a package. Yeah, there was a package that came, so hopefully this gets synced back up okay, but... Well, it was an exciting package, but I guess you guys will have to... Check out later. our Instagram later. <laughs> we'll put it on our Instagram. You guys can check it out. I, um, it's something Luke got as a reward for completing, um, a game. Woohoo! That we did. Yeah. <laughs> you get, you get your, that's your perk. The company actually sent it to us for completing the game. No, right. I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> Le Fastil's that Sacred would, Hall. Wouldn't that be so cool if you got a reward for completing a really hard game? I don't even think the developers have that jacket, really, except for a couple people. Okay, so we're going to activate this because people always, you have to remember, when you go to a new area, find the little portal things because you're going to need to backtrack here eventually. I'm sorry for hurting your head. Oh, they're fine, but I'm just saying future reference, like, look where you walk because sorry. you don't want to pull those down. This looks like a boss area. Yep. The gang's all here and ready to go. Mm -hmm. Genesis got tossed on a fake day. Korega shin no stage boss number. So it's all tossed about. Kito Korea cosmetic got a decade of star. Oh man. Yes, it done much in Motote. Battle in Sonai Naitona. Hi, hi. We could do that. 
All right, now it's dialogue time while we figure out what's going to go on. I can't wait for you to try Oops. the thing on, but the thing is you don't like... It has like a really like factory smell. I know. We should go back and tell the others. It Ugh. smells like... Leather. Oh, jacket, yeah. Jacket right out of the leather thing, yeah. Leather factory or whatever. It's really cool. It is. It's one of the coolest leather jackets I've ever owned. Amazed. All right. Let's go tell people that uh, we found the boss and uh, see what we can do. さてと。アルゴにはステージボスのことを伝えたから、あとはみんなに連絡して。聞いたかよ、黒の剣士の話。おお。一人でコーナンドクエストをクリアしまくってるってやつだろ。Talking about the black sword. That Genesis guy. その前は確かステージボスをトップランナーよりも早く見つけ出して倒しちまったんだよね。うーん。正直このゲームの最強プレイヤーだろう。今やどこもジェネシスの噂で持ちきりだな。いや、エグルに会すな。あちこちで聞
because I usually sleep during well, the day. Sometimes if my hair is extremely messed up and I'm just like half awake trying to run the premieres and I look terrible and someone comes to the door, I'm just like, I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> I like, like that. <laughs> oh, Amber, you get to be a gaggle of girls. No. Yep, it's these. It's the. <laughs> there. I had no idea that there was another boss. You, uh, you take out the boss and the path to the next area opens up. This is how it's supposed to work. I want to keep playing. I'm just trying to be that red-haired guy. Yeah. His, his shield looks like it's from Zelda. Right then, before we fight this boss, let's go over what we know about it, okay? Yata? A different girl. It's called the Summoned Servant of Fate. Whoa. While battling this boss, you'll notice that it switches between two different forms. Okay. Yeah. Its head is a weak point, but it's too high to reach. Even jumping won't get you close enough. You'll have to destroy all four of its legs first. When it hits the ground, that's when you womp on it. Womp on it? Really? Womp. Just watch out! When you destroy a leg, it'll switch forms! You need to take out all of its legs at once to bring it down! Melody's voice changes so much during this series. <laughs> Wait, that's the same girl? Oops. So we can at first and destroy all legs in one fell swoop before it can just transform. That's all we know. Any questions? <laughs> Are you the same Melody from the last boss raid? You've I have a, changed quite a bit, girl. I have a personality disorder. Uh, all right, let's go. <gasps> when you're ready, let's do this! Wow. Wow, I'm gonna go with a different raiding party from now on. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Are we gonna beat this boss or what? What? You're supposed to sound like this now? <laughs> Fine, I'll, it's hard for me to, do, to be a I'm, deep voice girl. I mean, it's Are been... Are we gonna beat this boss? Yeah, let's what? do it. No, no, no. I mean, it's it's been probably 10 or 15 episodes since the last boss raid. Edit feel, your raid party. It feels like they're all posing like with their hand on their mm. hip like... Let's do a full raid, because I, I don't want this to take a long time. Wow. I don't I don't care about XP. Asuna has like a little red cape. Now that's what I want to hear! Let's take down the boss and open up the next area! Oh! Yeah! 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 Yes! Yay! Woohoo! Yeah! Yay! Yay! I think the last boss raid we did was uh, that weird skeleton guy. I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah, Melody is always around. Whoa, see? Pokemon! Kind of. Looks it does look like a Pokemon. Ah, that's what I was saying. See, I remember this boss. I don't know what Pokemon it looks like. Though. Uh, legendary green... But it does look like a Pokemon. Pokemon thing. Yeah. Well, that's what people always call it. Okay, so this boss, all you have to do is destroy its legs. Ow. And what level is he? I didn't catch it. Ah, we should be able to take it's him down. It's over 9,000. That's no. all I know. No. 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 Um, if our main level is 30-something, I would say this boss is probably level 25, 30-something. Maybe level 40 at max. We'll beat it. No, look, I wanted to wait for hmm? your birthday, but I that was supposed to be... I didn't get you anything good for Christmas. Oh, relax, honey. It's a beautiful jacket. I'm going to wear that a lot. Well, I mean, don't wear it too much. You don't want to mess it up. Okay. Maybe we could just frame it and you could just never wear it. Or I could get a second one that you could wear it and we'll keep the other one in lock and key. No, we're not doing that one <laughs> thing where that anime guy is like, I need to, I need this and then I need all these backups just in case. Why? I haven't actually finished That's that anime That's the kind of person yet. I am. I bought two pairs of the same shoes for a backup. So you're like the overly cautious hero then. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I haven't finished that anime because I, it gets kind of dramatic and it started out as a hilarious parody Ooh. of stuff. It takes away any pain from like, say you have extra dishes if you break a dish. It's down! It's like, oh, I have extras, no worries. Yeah, let's go, let's go! Maybe I should get two cell phones. If I break one, I'll already have one. See how much easier it is when you have all your members attack at once? Yeah. Like, I didn't know I could command them to do that. I should have read Game Facts before I played this game so many months ago. We probably would have gotten through it much faster. But there's so many little nuggets in this that it's it's hard to really understand how to play it. And even the tutorial doesn't tell you all the things that you can do. You yeah. know? 
It just kind of briefly goes over the switch skills and things like that. It doesn't really um, tell you all the things you can do. And I probably haven't even really scratched the surface of everything. But being able to get all my party members to attack my target at the same time really helps with that skill chain attack. Like, tremendously. Mm. Otherwise, I'd just be wailing on this thing forever, and eventually, yeah, I would defeat some of it, but... Dude, stop dropping your body parts. It's annoying. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Getting on my nerves, yo. So, you guys have to get all the legs, or... Yeah, we gotta get all the legs, and what happens when we damage the legs, it topples itself, and then we can attack its head. Because right now, see? Now that it's on the ground, we can really wail on it. See? Look at that. Mm. We're, everybody in the raid party is attacking at once, and we're just draining its health, like, so much. Yeah, I see that. Let's go! Let's go! It's almost dead! <laughs> oh, yes! Now, that's what I'm talking about. Knowledge acquired. Success. Beat yeah. down. Successful. I don't know what armors we got, but it's pretty much useless. I'm just gonna make Kirito's black coat stronger and stronger. Well, can I just say that I'm so glad I didn't get you a Captain America jacket a long time ago, because this one is so much cooler. It's beautiful jacket. <laughs> you defeated the boss of this area. A new area has been unlocked. You may access it from the teleportation gate in town, Rangers. I'm sorry I keep talking about it. I'm just really oh, excited. I'm super excited. Now we can continue Premier's quest. Probably. Yay. Asuna, you have anything to say? No. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's head back to town, guys. Mission successful. Mission complete. Yep. Another hunt complete. Oh, As uh, speaking of hunt, uh, we're actually playing another game on live streams. If you guys want to check it out. It is called Dauntless, and we will get back to Dragon Quest streams. It's just going to be a little while because all our time and energy is going to SAO. When SAO finishes and Dragon Ball Z Kakarot finishes, then we'll be able to do more Dragon Quest streams. But uh, people seem to really like the um, Fortnite and um, Dauntless streams. Yeah. Yes. Oh, sorry. Talks. We actually have Japanese subtitles now for when they talk, like oh, on YouTube. That's gonna cost oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. How did we get that? Japanese fan, maybe? Wow. Mm, thank you, whoever made those. Mm. Maybe it's the entire video, I don't know. Yeah, I go. See, I told you. Defeat the boss. Get dialogue. プレミアのクエストこれ I wasn't paying attention. What what happened? Oh, that guy again. Ooh, somebody's mad. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Genesis. Genesis. Genesis does. Genesis does. What Nintendo. Hmm.別に気がついたわけじゃない。ここで終わらせたくなかっただけだ。You tell that poser. Yeah.終わらせたくなかっただと。何のために攻略をしているか。その違いが今回の結果に繋がったんだ。自分のためか、人のためかっていう違いでな。
Oh! Oh, snap. Mic dropped <laughs> from Angel. Okay. Actually, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, it's Klein! He's just still in the game. I completely forgot he was here. Klein's still here. なんか。なんか。ちょっと心配。うん。Interesting Asana. くそ運命が those are the best kind of twists. What do you mean supposed to die? Oh, fighting the monster. Premiere? Yeah. この無謀を連れ歩いてやがったよ。わざわざ連れ回すってことは何かあるってのか。今回の隠し <gasps> I I think it is. I think we can end today's episode. Yay! I'm so happy. I really want to check out the new area. I should be able to use the teleportation gate to get there. Maybe we should talk to more people. No! <laughs> Don't, Amber. Yay! Freedom! All right, so anyway, guys and gals, like I said, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Be on the lookout for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot starting very soon on K-Wing's Let's Plays. With a plethora of new games, end of January and all of February. We've got lots of exciting things to show you. We'll be working on this game for the next uh, week and a half and uh, get as many episodes done as possible. But our priority will be Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. You guys know how new releases go. But uh, this up, this stuff should still end up going up around 6 p.m. and stuff once Dragon Ball comes out. But uh, we enjoy playing it. We hope you guys love watching it. And we'll see you with the next exciting episode of Hollow of Realization tomorrow on K-Wings Let's Plays. God bless and happy gaming. See ya!